As far as midge soft tackles go, this pattern is actually pretty easy to tie and it's all very effective. I'm going to start with my thread right behind the eye, work my way back till about the hook point, and the body is going to cons consist of a couple of different types of tinsel. There's a Mirage Opal tinsel in medium, and then I'm using some of this sulky uh, hollow shimmer, and this is a greenish, kind of a dark green. It could pass as black, it's dark enough. And so what I what I like to do with that is just trim off a couple of these uh, the pieces that I'm going to tie in and tie them in right at that point right above the hook point. And then I'll work my way forward. This is going to help build a taper for us. And then back down to that starting point. Now I'll take the hollow shimmer and tie that in. About the same point there. Repeat that process. And now I'm going to wrap over both of them all the way back down to just at the bend of the hook. And now I'll work my way back up. Doesn't have to be super pretty because I'm going to cover that up with the tinsel. Just want to make sure that the body's smooth. And then up we come with the tinsel first, the Mirage, followed by the Hollow Shimmer. I like to use the Aqua Pliers on this. I like to wrap it really tight. And get up to the thorax area and just tie that off. Trim that, and now we'll come with our hollow shimmer and do the same thing, just ribbing it. Trim off the waist there. Okay, now we've got our body, and as like I like I do with a lot of my midges, I'm going to take some. Uh, clear QQ Hydro and just make that slick, reinforce it. One of the things I like about the Hydro is once I've got it on there I can I just take a little craft stir and even it out. Gives a little better taper before I zap it. Okay now the last piece is the hackle. I mean you could fish this just alone like this and finish it off it'd be fine. Uh, the soft tackle though is a nice way to imitate uh, merging uh, midge pupa that get lost in the current and swept away. The trout will eat these. They're good to swing. Uh, this is going to be some whiting hen. And this is actually from a cape, which is nice because you got these smaller sizes in there. Alright, so the piece of hackle that I've selected, the fibers, if I measure from where the uh, hackle is going to be tied in, it's going to go about three quarters of the way back over the body. And so I'm going to strip off some of these lighter, fluffier fibers. Like so. And then I'm going to tie this in right here where those fibers begin. And go back towards the eye of the hook. Pull this back over. And take some wraps securing that. And then you can actually, if you hold your thread tight, just bust that off. Okay, now what I want to do is take about three wraps. One right in front of the other. And then I'll just preen these back as I move forward. And I cross my thread over, a couple wraps there, and then a couple in front. And I just come in here and clip that. 
Now one thing I like to do is just grab all these fibers, pull them back, and then work my way back over to make sure the head is nice and even. I've got some stragglers here. And then I'm going to whip finish. Now as a last step, I like to put some clear cure glue also on the head and I like to do that with a bodkin at least for this size a little on top and the bottom should be enough and we zap it there's our finished midge soft tackle